In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove and replace an upstream O2 sensor located in the manifold, which is on the passenger side of the engine of a 2.4 Jeep. We're going to remove the air box. First, we'll take the actual air filter side of it out, set it aside. Now we're going to take our ground off our battery cable, 13 millimeter or a half inch wrench, and break that free. Spin that right off. Tuck it away somewhere so it doesn't ground out. So now we're going to remove our O2 sensor. We're going to follow that wire right up to where it's connected. Push down on that tab and disconnect it. There's a nice little plastic tie here that someone ran it through. I'm going to reuse that because I don't like the O2 sensor possibly falling down and hitting that manifold. So I take it right out. Now I'm going to take my O2 sensor socket, which is a 22 millimeter wrench. So you can use a 22 millimeter wrench or an actual O2 sensor socket. And I'm going to lift up, I'm going to go counterclockwise. And I'm going to back that right up. Now you can grab your O2 sensor, line it up with the threads, always do it by hand. The new one does come with the thread sealer on it. It's like an anti-seize. You don't want those getting frozen in there. Try to avoid banging it in any way, shape, or form. I'm going to snug it right up to that crush washer, and then I will get my O2 sensor socket and tighten it down. O2 sensors are usually a 22 millimeter wrench or an O2 sensor socket. Now when you install one, you'll feel that crush washer bottom out. And then I'm just gonna give it a nice little quarter turn. I'm going to run it right back through this little wire tie that we pulled the old one out of. That keeps it from dropping down hitting the manifold. Find my plug and click it in. Now we're going to put our negative battery cable back on. Make sure it's all the way down on that battery terminal. I have a 13 millimeter wrench, so 13 or a half inch wrench. And you want to make sure that that's snug and you cannot twist it. The air box has these plastic hooks in the back that go forward, so make sure your metal clips are forward like that. You're going to line this up and pull it forward. Just like that. Then snap those in place. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.